Assalamualaikum and good morning. We are from team 3 would like to discuss about the problem 3B. So, from the open loop step response graph, we need to first find the step change from 9.5 to 9.975 kmol per minute. Uh, then we also need to find GP and GD, which is GP is equals to XD over R, and then GD is equals to XD over F. Um, then we use the steps shown to find the value for the GP and the GD value. Uh, next. Uh, then we assume KM is equals to 1, GC is equals to KC, EM is equals to KM, which is 1, DV is equals to KV, equals to 0 0.1515, and uh, GP and GD value is uh, shown above. Uh, for the characteristics equation, um, it is 1 plus GP, GV, GM, GC is equal to 0. Then we substitute the value above. Next. For the rough stability, um, the stability range for the KC top column is equal to uh, negative 301.5377, uh, smaller than KC, smaller than 2479.0620. So for the tuning, the first method we use is Cohen Cohn. So we first we find the GPRC equal to GV, GM, GP, and we obtain the, this equation, and we find the tuning parameter for P controller KC, and in the simulin we develop the model that represent our cost loop transfer function. And we will obtain the graph for P controller. And same goes to PI controller. We find the tuning param parameter. And then in the simulin, we will obtain this graph. And for the PID, the tuning parameter KC, TOT I, and TOT D. And in the simulin, we will obtain this type of graph. And the second method we use is jiggler nikloss tuning. And by try and error, we, we find the KCU equal to 3615 and the PU equal to 35.059. And, and in the table, show the value for the tuning parameter for P, PI, and PID respectively. And in the simulation, we use the previous tuning parameter we found and this graph show the P controller. The next graph is for PI controller and the next graph is for PID controller. And in conclusion, we choose PI controller at our top column. This is because the PI controller graph show less oscillation as compared to P controller and PID controller. And for the bottom column, we have to find the GP and GD, which is GP equal to XB over QR and GD equal to XV over F. And from the step chain response graph, we use method 1 to find the GP and GD. And after that, we have to find the stability range for the controller. So we made the assumption that KM equal to 1, GC equal to KC, GM equal to KM equal to 1, GV equal to KV equal to 3030.3030, GP and GD, as we found from the previous step, in from the step chain response graph. And then, we found the characteristic equation where 1 plus GP, GV, GM, GC equal to 0. And then we use the road stability to find the range for KC, which is KC less than negative 55.5864 and smaller than 321.7896. Okay, moving on for the bottom column, we will use the two tuning steps as the previous 
one. The first one is Kohen, Kohen Kun Tuning. And with the equation of GPRC, we will calculate the GV, GM, GP to obtain this equation. And then for P controller, we will substitute the value into the, K, the tuning parameter equation given here in the slide. And with the case with the tuning parameter calculated that is 284.7831, we will put this value into the CMU link to obtain the closed loop transfer graph as shown in the next slide. And then these steps will be repeated for a PI controller and PID controller also. And these are the graph. Okay, moving on to the second method, that is Ziegler Nickel tuning. Ziegler Nickel tuning you we calculated by using try and error method by assuming the KCU and PU value. For KCU, we assume it's 266.10 and whereas for PU is 39.832. With these two values, we will put into the Ziegler Nichols table below here to get the KC, TOC1 and TOC B. And with this value, we will put in the simulant and for three mode controller and this is the graph shown here. This is for P controller, PI controller and PID controller. And as a conclusion, based on the two method tuning calculated, P controller is chosen. This is because the oscillate in P controller is smaller compared to P, PI controller and PID controller. So this, this is all from our team. So thank you.